Hello everyone, I'm going to explain in this video how to uh, create a new transect on the, on the website of the, on the European Butterfly Monitoring Scheme uh, website, EBMS. And uh, just to start, the first thing we need to do is to, to log in. In the moment you are logging, uh, this tab uh, will be activated. So let's go to my data, my transect data to register a new transect. So in this uh, page is where you can see all the, um, the different transects. In this case, I don't have any one register, so you cannot see it. And then you need to click this button to start a registration, a new transit. Before doing it, I want to remind that uh, please, uh, if you want to register a new transit, be in contact with your coordinator of the DMS to help you to decide where to do your transit, how many sections, how to do it, and also to, to keep updating the coordinator uh, that you are going to register a new transit. So it's, it's good for the scheme and also for you to, to help you on setting up this uh, new transit. So let's do it. Let's go to, do, to add a new transit, pressing this button, and then the page uh, the website will bring us to this uh, page, site details, where you need to, the first to do is select the country, in this case Albania, and then the transect name. I'm going to write uh, test because uh, this is a, a test, but just please write the name that you consider easy and intuitive to, to refer to your transect. Now the next uh, thing is to look for where your transit is going to be. Here is highlighted the Albania country. And then uh, you can uh, uh, zoom in to find uh, the place where you want to, to place your country and uh, with your transit, sorry. Uh, here you could select which uh, map to use, OpenStreetMap or Google Hybrid. I prefer this one because it's an aerial picture and it's easier to see. And then to, to, we need to give a reference of your transit, a coordinate reference, and you can do it on clicking on the map or just searching for the place. So we are going to, to search for a place, so a city or a town, and then you see it appears several options in Italy and in Albania, Albania. I select it here because it's where I want to do my, my transit, and then uh, look for the, the exactly place that I want to do my transect. It's going to do around this route, so I will place it here, more or less. And you see that the, the reference, the coordinate reference is filled automatically. We continue now the number of sections that we are going to do, in this case three. Uh, normally the sections refers to the different numbers of uh, habitats that you have in the transect. The overall length uh, of the transect we will calculate later when the, um, the transect is drawn. And then we need to select the transect uh, width. That is normally 5 meters, so 2.5 meters to each side of you. But you can uh, select other, other type if in your VMS is different. Uh, also, you have the option of uh, click uh, sensitive uh, because yeah, you don't want to, to show this location or maybe public, so you could click here. There are many um, other fields to, uh, to write down the different habitats, the land management and so on that you can select, but it's not uh, compulsory to do it, so we continue or also to write any comment about the habitat or whatever you want. But let's save it and, and continue further to, to grow the, the route. Okay, so now we are in the next uh, page, in site detail, where we uh, will need to, to create the, the route, to draw that route. Here on the yellow uh, square, you could see all the explanation about how to do it, but I think it's better if I explain it in the video, how to use all these buttons and, and tools. So here you will see the, um, uh, the map uh, and the, the reference point that you selected before. 
uh, here you can use to zoom in and to zoom out and the, the map we will uh, be loaded and here in the in the blue cross you have the option also to change to open a street map or to google hybrid i think to draw win is better google hybrid because it's the aerial picture and then you can see the different paths uh forest and and anything right okay so i'm going to to start uh, drawing my first section for that i need to select uh, s1 uh, and here on the tools uh, you will see four different tools. The second one is the, um, the drawing tool. Select this tool to draw a line. And the first one is when you already have the line to uh, allow you to edit it. The last one, the last button is to move around the, the, the map. Uh, it's useful, especially if uh, you see the squares of the, of the map. If uh, it's not loaded, please just uh, move around uh, the map and it will be loaded. Right now it's, it's really well loaded, but sometimes this, it happens. So let's select the drawing tool and then start clicking to draw the, the route. We will start here in this uh, house and I start clicking and you see how the route is uh, created in red. And in this case, when you want to finish, you need to click two times. So this first section is in this open area and uh, after doing the two clicks um, then the, the first section is created. If you select this uh, tool then it will allow you to move any of these points of the route. As you see here in case you did something wrong, don't worry, you could change it. So for example instead of doing the whole route on the path i want to do it around the forest and then uh, here you have option to create more points and move it around to be more accurate so now my section is like that and my first section and i save it it's safe and you see it's created great so we have the number one let's go for the sec second that it will be through the forest because every uh, section corresponds to a different habitat in general so i select again the the tool the second tool and get closer to the first section and you see it turns yellow that means that is a continuation the second section will start there so i start to click and draw in my route for the second section let's continue in case you see that oh i don't see anymore the map you could press longer and could move a little bit so let's continue and then i finalize here double click and then you see the complete uh, second section you can zoom in zoom out it's okay i think it's perfect i don't need to, to change anything but now it's in the first uh, tool so it allows you to do it but i'm happy with that so i save it and then let's go to the third last one tool and i'm going to do it through the these uh, grasslands that are here so the same i go with the drawing tool close to the end of the second section and then it's turned yellow and I can start writing for me it's going to be like that and finish it here so this is the third one I prefer to move it a little bit not a straight okay i save it and my whole transit is draw now so now we have the the first section the second section in the forest and the third section in in this open area so i recommend that every habitat is uh, is it belongs to a specific habitat 
Uh, and it doesn't matter one is longer than another. Because then you will have the, the number fourth here and then it will allow you better. You can remove that section if you, you were wrong. And the last part is to complete section detail. It's the same. If you will press here, we will go to this section, section detail, where you could see an interesting information in the, the length of every sections here 200 meters 272 27 sorry uh, the second 405 meters and the first one 145 so then this gives you an approximation in case you do want to check the whole length and here is also the, the details i explained before to get fit if you go to the first tab you could see now that the root is uh, drawn the overall length nice number 777 meters is the whole transect and it's calculated when when you when the root has been drawn i recommend and in the protocol don't to exceed more than uh, one kilometer of the transect uh, because allows you to do it in a reasonable time when the abundances of butterflies are high but you can do it so it can be more than one kilometer or less than one kilometer but try to to be around that. so okay we we finished the route to draw it so now the last thing to do is just to finish we it, the system brings you to the home page but you can go again to my data my transit sites and here you will see that now uh, the the transect is the is recording. It's in the is in the system and and is zero and zero because you didn't record any records or any species. But in the moment you start to to do visit to your transect, these numbers will change. If you need to change anything or to see something of your transit, you can click this button edit and we'll come back to the to the pages where we were. You have the option to download the transit in different formats, to export it to uh, any GIS system with all these uh, formats, and you can continue adding more, more sites to your account. So that is all. I hope it, it was well explained and you enjoy counting by friends.